XE and Ponte Vecchio. There we go. Done. Video over. What's your minimum specification? So I have to make this video because I keep seeing these two names being mispronounced all over the YouTube sphere. We have Intel's two graphical code names. We have XE, their architecture, and we have Ponte Vecchio, their new high-end HPC uh, graphics compute kind of thing. And I kind of want to go through why they're called what they're called, and as you saw at the beginning of the video, just the pronunciation. So first of all, XE, or as Raja Kaduri initially said, it should have been EXE, as in executable or exascale for everyone. You know, we called it the exascale for everyone. What are the architectures, the story behind XE? It was actually we had that exascale for everyone. For a while, the code name for the first GPU inside Intel was EXA, E-X-A. Um, but we had some trademark problems with it. <laughs> and, you know, EXA became EXE and, you know, EXE, and somebody in the marketing decided to drop the E in front, and I got stuck with XE. Now, the whole point about XE graphics is that it scales all the way from integrated to high-performance computing and the massive computer that goes into major supercomputers. So Exascale for everyone is part of Intel's vision of having, you know, having so much compute, being so close to where you need it, and being accessible very quickly. As we've seen, Intel's Architecture Day, um, XE is coming along in spades. We're still hopefully looking forward to where the performance lies. We're going to see XE first in Tiger Lake in the XE LP format. Um, 96 execution units uh, with they're claiming, you know, somewhere north of 16, 1700 megahertz, where Ice Lake was at 1100 megahertz. And overall, at least 2x bump in performance in terms of just raw graphics power, or raw compute power, I should say. Graphics will depend on the caches and memory bandwidth and such. Now, just to point out, XE, technically that E is superscript, right? So it's nothing to do with the personal pronoun she. This is completely orthogonal to that. It's all about exascale. So X to the E, as in X, the unknown variable, to the power of the exponential. Exponential for everyone. Exascale for everyone. You see where it's kind of going here. Now, with Ponte Vecchio, it's a little bit different. Ponte Vecchio means old bridge. It's actually a physical place over the River Arno in Italy. It's a very nice old bridge. I've been there. It's a bridge that's literally lined with shops. It was first built in uh, the late 900s, and it was rebuilt in the 1300s to what we kind of see today. When I went there, yes, it's a nice place. It's lined both sides with gold and silver merchants and souvenir stalls. And I was rather disturbed by the Harry Krishnas that kept going up and down the bridge the whole time, uh, jumping and playing music. But the reason why it's called Ponte Vecchio, according to Raja Kaduri again, is the fact that uh, he likes gelato, and it's a really nice place for gelato. Uh, just across the road from Ponte, from the Ponte Vecchio Bridge uh, is a really nice, famous gelato place. I've eaten there a couple of times, and he, yeah, really, really nice. And the joke is that Raja wanted to call it Ponte Vecchio because it meant that they would have the launch event, perhaps in Florence, where he would get some gelato. So... Be prepared for future code names from Intel or from Raja involving food. Um, I highly expect that to be the case over the future. But yeah, Ponte Vecchio, not Ponte Vecchio, or uh, not Italian, but I'm of the opinion that it's just Ponte Vecchio. The first showing for Ponte Vecchio is expected to be in the Aurora supercomputer, which Intel has to deliver to the Argonne National Laboratory by the end of 2021. That will, each node of that supercomputer will contain two Sapphire Rapid CPUs paired with six Ponte Vecchio GPUs. Uh, there will be uh, Intel's new Rambo cache, there will be Intel's new uh, XE link to connect the GPUs together, the whole system will support CXL, uh, DDR5, uh, PCIe Gen 5 as well. It's going to be a big system with a lot of components, a lot of new components. Um, Ponte Vecchio will be using different tiles built at different process nodes at Intel and even different fabs. Um, we saw as part of Intel's architecture day that two of the tile, two out of the four tiles within Ponte Vecchio will be built externally to Intel. Um, so that will be interesting to see and part of Ponte Vecchio we were built on future Intel process nodes, which we believe to be 7 nanometer. 
and Intel showed a lot of this at Intel Architecture Day. Um, that was very fun. Lots of information coming out. But this is just a short video to tell you where XE and Ponte Vecchio come from, and more importantly, how to pronounce them. I'm looking at you, YouTube. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, there's a comment section down below in case you liked it. There's a comment section down below in case you didn't like it. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. But don't forget, what's your minimum specification?